What is the? I'm not seeing a peanut. What the? F wow. Pizzazz, boom, bang. I didn't break a nail before this. The nail polish just slid off of my finger. Welcome back to another episode of the show, of the series. I like to call Never Have I Ever, where I go out and I try things I've never tried before. Up until this episode, that's been me and my car going to drive throughs fast food places, restaurants, and ordering things off the menu that I w would never want in a bag in my car. <laughs> because I don't like the ingredients, or I've been to that restaurant, I know what I like, why would I try something new? Uh, today looks a little different. Instead of going to a restaurant today, I went to the grocery store, and we're doing a Never Have I Ever Little Debbie ice creams. Have you, have you ever, Little Debbie, met her, seen her? Bought a bunch of them. It felt weird buying like six pints of ice cream. It felt a little like, you know, what are you up to on a Saturday? Oh, me just making a YouTube video, nothing to see here. But in my car or not, we're still gonna go over some fun facts about the history of the place and just some random stuff, and then we'll try them. For this episode, if we're doing Little Debbies, then uh, you can call me Big Deborah. okay? Can I get this off of here? This is supposed to be a sticker. You could call me Big Deborah. Big Deborah. Just kidding. Okay, Little Debbies. So Little Debbies started in the 1920s during the Great Depression. O.D. McKee, that's their name. I don't know what O.D. stands for. I didn't dig that deep. O.D. McKee sold five cent snack cakes from the back of his whippet. And look at this car. Look at this. I was like, I was like, what the heck's a whippet? The word whippet did not make me think of this car, but he sold it out of his whippet. Which is why I'm wearing this mechanic shirt. Little Debbie started out of the back of a car. 1934, he and his wife, Ruth, shout out Ruth, bought a failing bakery using their car's collateral. Collateral? Collateral. Collateral. Hey, that car's collateral. I think it's, that's how you pronounce it. They bought this bakery and, I mean, it was the Great Depression. It was so hard to probably start a business back then. They put a sheet up in the back of the bakery so they could live in the back. Past this sheet is like the living quarters. It's rough. 1960, they sold family packs named after their granddaughter, Debbie. This is where Debbie comes into play. She was four at the time. Okay, so here's the thing. They didn't know that her picture was on these products until it came out. Like, they had no idea and they had named it Little Debbie and her face was on the boxes. And they're like, okay, we'll just roll with it. The original illustration of Little Debbie was done by Pearl Mann, who is a famous pinup artist. Family pack was made up of individually wrapped oatmeal cream pies, the original snack cake. The carton was 49 cents. They sold 14 million in 10 months. I mean, back that 14 million in 10 months. Crazy. Obviously, people liked him. Odie McKee's wife, Ruth, like I said, she was a fucking G. She really was. She ran the office um, and all the employees and kind of like held down the fort and got it going while her husband went out and made sales and whatnot. But she, it, that was rare back then for her to have so much going on with the business. And she had three kids at the time. Like, they literally hired help to help with her kids. Ruth was like, I listen, I'm kind of busy running, building, dominating an empire. So that was back then. And as of today, little Debbie, as we know her, Debbie. Debbie McKee Fowler is her name, is the executive vice president of McKee Foods, and she's on the board of directors. The McKee Foods headquarters is in College Dale, Tennessee. I think this whole thing like started in Tennessee and they've pretty much kept it in Tennessee. As of today, there are 75 plus varieties of products that they sell and they make $1.4 billion every year. $1.4 billion. But, 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 billion. Not million, 1.4 billion. We need like a little snaps. I should come out with like little snaps cakes or something. Little little snappers. Oh, little snappers. I'm gonna be good. You can get them in all 50 states, Canada, Mexico, Puerto Rico, and even on US military bases. Top selling items they have are the oatmeal cream pie, the Swiss cake rolls, and the Nutty Buddy wafer bars. And, and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, which is an 80s film. I haven't seen it in forever, but I, I, think, I think it was a good film. It was the first time a Little Debbie product was featured. They had like a gigantic oatmeal cream pie because they get shrunken down and then somehow they're like eating off of an oatmeal cream. Bye. In 1991, Little Debbie products were sent to outer space on the space shuttle Atlantis. The cosmic brownies, which I think were like booming when I was a kid. Every, people loved those. Those were created because of cosmic bowling. 2022, they made up a character called Zane the Zebra that they put on the zebra cakes. I think I've seen it. Didn't really pay too much attention, but that means Little Debbie's got some competition as the mascot in the face of the product. They have Zane the Zebra. I would love to see a showdown between Little Debbie and Zane the Zebra. I put some Swiss rolls on that. McKee Foods also produces baked goods under a bunch of other companies, one including the Sunbelt Bakery. I love these damn granola bars. They're so soft and chewy and they're definitely not good for you. They taste like pure sugar, but they're great. In 2022, the ice creams came out. The first time I ever discovered, I think, Little Debbie products was one time me, my brother, and my mom went on a road trip in my grandparents' camper across a couple of states, and they had like a, a whole dessert drawer stash in their camper, and, and they had oatmeal cream pies and those Nutty Buddy wafer bars, and I was like, this is fa where the hell is this stuff been? Every so often, I mean, I love an oatmeal cream pie. I do, I just don't eat them that much. Um, the Nutty Buddy wafer bars, love those. And the Cosmic Brownies, I will have every so often when I'm feeling the mood for something real chocolatey, but then immediately after I'm like, 
That was a lot. So yeah, let's try some ice cream. And because we're not going through a drive-thru for me to order anything, um, we're just gonna walk over to my freezer. We're gonna get the ice cream. <laughs> That kind of, it kind of, when I put the camera in and then I click, it kind of stuck to the, it's the thing. Okay. I decided to do this because I mean like buying ice cream is, is a huge decision. I'm gonna get a flavor I like. I'm gonna stick with the classics. Rarely have I ventured out and been like, oh, let me try. If I'm at an ice cream shop, I'll maybe try a new flavor. But a whole pint? The first one I have to try is honey buns. Um, I know people love honey buns. I don't like them. I think they're, when they're packaged, they're like weirdly stale for some reason. It's kind of cool though. I used to work at a convenience store in college and people always bought honey buns and then like threw them in the microwave, but then they had like the plastic on them. And I was like, I didn't, I don't know. I have a weird thing about honey buns. Little Debbie's teeth look messed up on this. Why is her tongue out? What is this one though? Cream sugar, corn syrup, milk and skim milk, donut pieces. There's honey buns in here. A cold and creamy twist on a classic treat. Our family owned brands, Little Debbie and Huns Hudsonville Craft. It must be an ice Hudsonville ice cream, but it doesn't tell you what it is. It smells like straight up like a honey bun though. Nope, that tastes like honey bun. The cinnamon in here. Tastes like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I just got a hint of like eggnog. I'm guessing it's just vanilla ice cream, cinnamon swirls. It looks like little chocolate chunks in here as well. Hmm. Oh my, there are donut. Hmm. The donuts in here taste like powdered donuts and they're kind of like cold and like st stiff. I don't know if that's my favorite because the donut has a little bit of an aftertaste. If you like cinnamon in every bite, this is good for you. Again, you could probably eat like another 10 scoops of this, get it down to like here and then be done with it. I think there's categories like just want a couple bites, polish off a half pint, eat it in one sitting. I'm gonna put this in like the couple of bites category. But a honey bun is not, a, a honey bun is a type of donut similar to a cinnamon roll. Okay, but there's a difference between cinnamon rolls and like powdered donuts. It just tastes like they put the wrong kind of donuts in here. Not great, not my favorite. Little tortilla chip as a palate cleanser. And so this one is the Star Crunch ice cream. It just says the same message on the side. A cold and creamy twist on a classic treat, the same thing. But what is it? As a consumer, I have to know what the Little Debbie Star Crunch is without you telling me. Is the ice cream vanilla? Is it chocolate? I think they would sell more if they put, like Ben and Jerry's does like, the half baked is, co you know, cookie dough on a vanilla ice cream. Like it tells you exactly what you're getting into. This one has cocoa coated crispies. I'm looking at the, the straight up ingredients. Rice crispy rice. Rice crispy rice. Caramel chalk, caramel chocolate and cereal. I do like the like the packaging on these. I can clearly see it's Little Debbie's. You know, they're all a little unique. This one has says Hudsonville ice cream on it. This one, oh, this one did too. <laughs> okay, kind of looks the same as the other one. Smells like absolutely nothing. <laughs> what was that reaction? Looks like a galaxy in here. That, that's pretty good. Mm. Oh, yes, no, mm-hmm. It tastes just like it. Cause you know the chocolate they use on these Star Crunches, it's not like a milk chocolate. It's some certain ice cream brands, when they put like a ribbon of chocolate in there, it always tastes, there's like a specific ice cream chocolate that they use. If anyone understands that, please comment down below. I'm not crazy, I don't know what it is. They use that and then like all these little crunchies, they just broke it off and put it in here. It just tastes like vanilla ice cream, but it's like heavy, heavy on the swirls in there. Look at that. The consistency of the mixture is very consistent. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I'm not getting like huge gaps of just vanilla ice cream. Sometimes Ben and Jerry's does that. Are the Star Crunches, they have caramel in them though? I feel like I'm so uneducated. Oh, these soft, chewy cookies are topped with out of this world caramel and crispy rice and then eclipsed with a coating of fudge. Bro, it's the fudge. It's not chocolate, it's fudge. That's exactly, mm-hmm, it's very good. I would put this in a, I could finish off, you know, half a pint category. I don't know what it would be similar to, but nobody puts these little, the little crispies in their ice cream. So if they're the only ones doing that, that's very good. It almost tastes like a crunch bar. I'm becoming more impressed with Little Debbie. Is this one open or did I do that? Little De oh my God, he's on there. This is the Little Debbie Zebra Cakes ice cream. I was gonna say, I don't see this Zelda, Zion, Zine, Zane, the zebra, but I moved my thumb and boom, hey there. Ze I was called it zebra cakes. Oh, the zebra cakes. I've had zebra cakes before. It's been a long time. They have a fluffy cream filling, which is butter, powdered sugar, vanilla, and salt. Yellow cake with cream filling covered in white icing and decorated with fudge stripes. So easy. Why, why did I had to go to the little Debbie website to find that out? It smells like nothing, maybe a little bit like chocolate. This one like looks the least interesting out of all of them. 
This one tastes like nothing. <laughs> where, where is the flavor? Searching for a piece of cake. This is so disappointing. How you can have that much pow, pizzazz, boom, bang, shabop on the thing? So many flavors. Cream filled, yellow cake, white icing, whatever flavor that is. Fudge stripes. How you can have all that? There's no way the, those cakes stays this bland and they sell that many. What does white icing taste like? This whole flavor could just be called white icing because it doesn't have, it's not vanilla. It's not, you know, cream. It's just white icing. I'm going to put this in could finish off a whole pint category, but not in a good way. In the way that like I would eat the whole thing and then be like, what flavor was that? There's no way I ate a pint because it was just just going down because it just tastes like nothing. Listen, little Debbie, I'm not mad. I'm a little disappointed. I mean, was this finally a chunk of yellow cake? Okay, one chunk of yellow cake and I'm a quarter of an inch down. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, no. Tastes like when you get like a really freezer burnt ice cream cake. You ever go to a birthday party and they got a really freezer burnt ice cream cake. They're crusting off with an ice pick. They're like, oh, this ice cream cake's been in the back of the freezer for three years because I had to specialty order it. Instead of doing dinosaurs for the third birthday, he wanted to do cosmic bowling. So then I had to shove it back in and I couldn't get a refund. Tastes like old freezer burnt ice cream cake. And that's that. Little ow, my arm. See that pint of ice cream, that zebra cakes, that's the exact example of when I'm like, I don't want to try new ice cream flavors because what if I don't like it? What a waste of, I don't even know how much those were. I'll put up the price of how much all of those were because I think they're all the same price. But like, what, what just what a waste. Pints of ice cream like that give me trust issues. Next on the docket, we have nutty bars. Nutty bars. Aren't they like nutty? What did I write in the notes? They're not nutty bars. Nutty Buddy Wafer Bars is what they kept calling them. I love these, I think these are great. Crunchy wafer bars layered with peanut butter and a chocolatey coating. A chocolate coating or a chocolatey coating? Let's see if they put milk, cream, sugar, corn syrup, roasted peanuts. Is that supposed to mean peanut butter? You can't just put peanut butter in ice cream, you have to put roasted peanuts. Powdered sugar. Why is there powdered sugar in here? Waffle cone pieces, unbleached. This one I'm like most excited for because I like Nutty Bars. I'm not excited about the packaging on this one. Why is the yellow like neon yellow? It's a nasty yellow. It looks like a dog throw up yellow. Like a caution, don't eat that yellow. Maybe make it like just white and make the lid yellow. I guess the boxes they come in are this like bright ass yellow. I've never noticed. It's not looking its best. Can't believe you're telling me that they put peanuts in there. Oh, it smells so peanut buttery. Peanut buttery? Peanut butter-ish. Peanut buttery! They all look pretty much the darn same. Is it peanut butter flavored ice cream? I'm not seeing a peanut, but I'm getting the peanut. Uh -huh. Hmm. I think they're roasted peanuts. They're like so finely chopped. They like creamified the peanuts. And I'm not sure if I like that. We got our first spillage. Not on my work shirt. What are we doing? I, I gotta get to this waffle cone part with some chocolate. There's a big old chocolate chunk right there. Mm, I got a peanut. I feel like I'm like hunched over that. I just gotta spill it again. Oh my God, I don't care. This tastes like nothing. Just eat a nutty bar. This is not gonna be the same. You're not gonna like this. Little Debbie, I'm, I'm having trust issues, Little Debbie. I was gonna say, I thought Little Debbie, the company, I feel like it's always been around, always had a good rep. Like, oh, Little Debbie's, everybody loves those. Those are from people's past. Little Debbie as a company kind of felt like uh, someone's younger sibling that you let hang out with them. They're like, oh, okay, Little Debbie's gonna tag along when we go play paintball. They're like, that's cool. Little Debbie's chill. I don't know about Little Debbie ice creams. Little Debbie ice creams are the product of when Little Debbie's having a bad day. When Little Debbie's running her mouth and she goes, I have a dessert company. And you're like, not all categories. This don't taste that great. What is this? I just don't, I want this to be better. Little Debbie, why don't you tell us what the, what it is? You can't just say it's Nutty Bars, because it don't taste like that. Aren't there people out there who are allergic to peanut butter but not peanuts? Is that a thing? Can that happen? How, you'd have to read the ingredients and know there's peanuts in here. I mean, there's not much you could do with a Nutty Buddy flavor converting it to ice cream. I understand that, I do. But you didn't do it justice. You didn't do it a good job. That's so disappointing. I should have known when the packaging looked like this that I was going to be pissed off. Okay. <laughs> the next one up is strawberry shortcake rolls ice cream. I will say when I went to go get these, Mia and I saw these the first time. They were all perfectly lined up, fully stocked. When I went back, they were stocking the ice cream shelf that day. These were all covered in like freezer burn. This one, there's only like two of these and they're both like beat up, like it's dented right here. This was like the better of the two. Strawberry shortcake rolls. Okay, finally some color. Soft and creamy with a punch of strawberry flavor. Little Debbie strawberry shortcake rolls are a sweet delight for any time of the year. I think there's like strawberry like jam type of thing. This one has a lot less mixed in. Like it's not as uniform. Like the strawberry in this is not as much as the chocolate was in the other ones. What is the? What the, f why, why, it, why is it so gritty? Have you ever had ice cream where it's like kind of grainy? 
Why, why, why is this like this? It's like rough on my tongue. The little strawberry part is like kind of good. Like it tastes exactly like the strawberry that they use in these rolls. I feel like that easily transfers from a roll to ice cream. Okay, if you just get a, just a single scoop of this strawberry part, it kind of tastes like the strawberry shortcake ice cream. I'll put a picture in the things that I really like. I love those. Kind of tastes like that, but. Oh my God, it's so tart. Holy, yeah. oh, it's tart as hell. Look how deep red that crevice is. My God, it looks like a volcano exploding. It looks like my, like my ice cream's time of the month. Oh my God, we're just falling apart. H how is this becoming the messiest episode? But this, this should be evenly distributed into the, or just tell me on the front. Them not communicating exactly like what the ingredients were, what every flavor of thing is gonna be in here. is like your friend who always has like their life together. They're always on time. They just like seem to have it together. And then you trust them to plan your whole vacation and they just like fall apart the seams. They're like, oh, I booked a bus ticket to the beach. You're like, a bus ticket? Let's take an Uber. Let's walk. Why is the hotel we booked not by the, we're taking a Greyhound bus to the beach? Where the, f where are we staying? They're just not communicating. They're good at one thing, strawberry, strawberry, strawberry. They're not good at another thing, making ice cream, making plants get you everywhere on time. What is this? This vanilla ice cream, it looks like lighter than the other ice creams. Is this not vanilla ice cream? Is this just cream ice cream? Who is eating this? Who is eating this? Milk, cream, sugar, corn syrup, skim milk, strawberries, whey, wheat flour. Besides strawberry, there's no flavor in here. It's just the cream of the cream. What I'm tasting is the short, the shortening. It's short of ingredients. It's short of flavors. What is wrong with this one? This isn't even making it on the list of like a couple of bites, half a pint, full pint. Garbage, don't buy it. I would warn people about, I would make an Instagram story warning you not to eat this. Shut it down, little Debbie. Some of pros and cons, gritty texture was so unpleasant, made the ice cream taste off or defective. Someone because I don't understand the bad reviews. This ice cream is essentially nothing but dairy, sugar, cake. Where do you see cake? And real strawberries. Oh, they use real strawberries and no other flavor? Something just a little off this time. <laughs> Tastes like shit. There's cake in here. I'm not seeing chunks of cake. Nope, nothing. Wow. 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 <laughs> Wow. Upon reflection, like I said, those, the strawberry shortcake ones, all of the cartons were dented, the ones that were left. I think someone, a good Samaritan, is going into the grocery stores, purposely dropping the cartons on the ground, making them utterly defective so that the store has to take them, throw in the back and throw them out without anybody having to buy them. Some good Samaritan out there is doing a citizen's arrest on the ice cream and getting it out of the stores. Thank you for your service. Clean off my spoon. This one. Cosmic brownie. Now, love the packaging. Great, looks a little bit like sherbet, but that's fine. I, I love the random fact that Cosmic Brownies is named after Cosmic Bowling, not like the Cosmic Sky or the Cos Cosmos, Cosmics, like a Cosmic. It's not due to space, like oh, the Cosmics. I feel like the Cosmic Brownie as a product lends itself to easily be adaptable to ice cream. That, I sound like a straight up marketing person right there. Put me in a board meeting. So I think this one will be fine. Cosmic Brownies are like thick, like fudgy brownies. And I always need like a straight up big thing of water to go with it or like a big glass of milk. Um, and they have like these little tiny like sprinkly things on top. It says milk, cream, sugar, corn syrup, skim, rainbow chips. That's what we're calling them. Which are semi-sweet chocolate coating sugar. There you go. Yellow cake, yellow lake. Not yellow cake, yellow lake. Yellow number six lake. There must be a crap ton of dye in here. Blue, red, red, yellow, 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 blue. <laughs> Okay, that's a different color than we've been getting. Ba 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 ba. This looks like a thick boy. That tell me that does not just look thick. It almost looks like uh, that like kinetic sand people play with. It smells like nothing. This looks grainy too. It looks grainy. Hmm. Is there brownie chunks in here? But the fudge tastes different than like the, f the fudge ribbons in the other ones. It's like all consuming, and yet it's not grainy like this damn strawberry shortcake one. This is the messiest episode. So messy. I mean, I'm not a really big chocolate person, so I'm gonna take my bias, it dropped it again. But taking my bias out of this, I would put this in the clean off half a pint category. I'm sure if you like the Cosmic Browns and you like chocolate, but I think you would really like this. And the little tiny candy coated bites in here, whatever these are, it's like a really nice little crunch. It's not bad, it's just very rich. Oh, there's a little brownie piece in here. Okay, there you go. Not bad. Y'all can thank the Cosmic Brownies over there, little Debbie, for bringing it back. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now we have a problem. 
when I went to the store, I swear, again, they were stocking the shelves that day. They were very busy. They had like 95 boxes of ice cream. All the doors were frosted over and I couldn't see. And I was just trying to quickly get all the ice cream and go, I swear I got an oatmeal cream pie one. I thought it was like the first one I put in my basket. But then I just looked at the receipt. I only bought six and there's only six in the freezer. And now I wanted to try the one because that's the original like snack cake they were selling. Oatmeal cream pies. I like though. Those are the, I mean, should I just go get a pint of it? It's raining a lot outside. I also miss the Swiss roll flavor. I didn't get, there's a unicorn one, a birthday cake one. I despise anything birthday cake. And that fudge roll one. There must be like 11 flavors altogether. This is the Swiss roll. Another chocolate based one. I got it because the sh I got the strawberry shortcake rolls. So I thought maybe this is the counterpart. Maybe this would make up for it. It just looks like straight up chocolate ice cream. <laughs> Milk, cream, corn syrup, sugar, skim, milk, wheat, whey, flour, punch, rum, palm, I don't think there's anything in here. Hmm. Can you see there's like a little white chunk in there? What the hell is that? Yo, what? They put little chunks of white cream in here. And this looks like little pieces of Swiss roll. And it's all over the spoon! What is going on? Mm. <laughs> if you like Swiss rolls, you'll like this. It's very rich and creamy, like the cosmic brownie one. I would put this under the half pint. Clean off half a pint before you're like, okay, it's a lot. It's really rich. This one's not bad. And it's different than the Cosmic Brownie. Just different enough. Look at the bottom of the bottom. Remember that? What's happening to the bottom? I also read like on their website that Little Debbie has like a pretty good name and they're known for like quality products. I don't think dear Miss Little Debbie or Big Deborah now, executive vice president of the, I don't know if I, the quality is kind of dropping off at the ice cream. Okay. It's not, I mean, you're losing some of the quality. You're losing some of the quality and you're losing a couple of fans, just saying. Okay, the oatmeal cream pie. Look how much freezer frost is on that. I think they're great. I don't really have them that often. Looks like a straight up vanilla ice cream, probably with just oatmeal chunks. Milk, sugar, cream, corn, some. It doesn't say to put, oh, I don't see the word oatmeal anywhere on here. Brown sugar, okay. I don't know if I like that it's not like a vanilla base. It's like a fake sugary ice cream base. The oatmeal chunks are decent, and I feel like no one else is doing oatmeal cookie ice cream. I just don't like the base flavor of this. Kind of going into taste like nothing territory. Tastes like the cold foam on top of a cold brew, but like thicker, creamier, and more artificially flavored. Yeah, I don't like this one. Okay, it's settled. Little Debbie, the ones I like, the Starburst one with like the Rice Krispies, the Cosmic Brownie. I think those are my top two favorites. The strawberry one is absolutely disgusting. I don't know how you guys are letting that out of the factory. Who enjoys grainy ice cream? How, there's no one taste test in that. There's not a new kid or an intern like who has a big old sweet tooth like skimming some off the top, taking a little bit of ice cream off the blind and they're like, that, that doesn't even taste good to me. This table is so sticky. Little Debbie or Big Deborah, whoever I'm talking to, the company company as a whole or Deborah the vice president. I think you guys should just stick to uh, the things you've already been making. They're not that great. They're not that good. You're not very smart and you're not very bright. <laughs> uh, this has been another episode of Never Have I Ever. Comment down below if you've had these ice creams or which one you would try or which Little Debbie products that you like. I know what I like and I know what I don't like, okay? I'll see y'all next time. Please like and subscribe to the video so we can do more of these and we can venture out and do different types of episodes. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. Every Monday when I put out like the new main video, we're always hanging out in the live chat when it premieres. We're just chit-chatting about the episode as it comes out so you can always join us there and that's it for big deborah big deborah says no to big changes maybe this isn't a mechanic shirt maybe this is like a factory worker shirt because big deborah was working over there she wouldn't let half these products get out oh no 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 the trucks would have flat tires the cartons would be defective i would make sure nobody has to eat the strawberry one i'd make sure that i think i have a new um vendetta against the strawberry shortcake roll little debbie ice cream move aside white castle i have a new vendetta <laughs> We should keep track of my vendetta. Here, since the series started, here's what she really hates. Christine hates this product, that company, this person. This is me figuring out the framing. Oh, my hand, my hand. Where, we, I could put the ice cream out to here. Uh, 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 but if I was just talking to you, but like my hands, instead of like talking with my hands here, I just talked with my hands out here. And anyways, like I was saying, look at my bun, bun's out of the frame. Bun's out of the frame, bun's out of the frame. Also side note, if you eat the cosmic brownie one, you're gonna have a, a doo-doo looking tongue. What? Uh-huh. Don't be eating the cosmic brownie little Debbie ice cream on a date. Not date approved. You're like, oh, I loved our date. Yeah. No. Grow up. Well, first of all, don't kiss like that. Ew. Okay. Gross. Gross.